From Saturday, China will lift its curbs on South Korean travelers by starting to resume issuing short-term visas. This follows a similar decision by Seoul last week. Moon ae has more. The Chinese embassy in Seoul on Wednesday announced that it will now be resuming the issuance of short-term and arrival visas for Korean travelers, as well as allowing transit stays for 72 and 144 hours. The measures take effect starting Saturday. The announcement comes 44 days after the Korean government introduced travel restrictions for travelers from China due to a surge in COVID-19 cases there. On January 2, South Korea stopped the issuance of short-term visas, required negative PCR tests and registration on the quarantine information pre-entry system, Q-code, before arrival. It also restricted the number of flights from China. Beijing responded with a series of similar measures. On January 10, it halted short-term visas for Korean nationals and the next day restricted transit stays. China lifted its visa restrictions for Japanese nationals on January 29. But after Seoul decided to maintain its quarantine measures, Beijing began to request COVID testing for all arrivals from Korea. Although both countries are now issuing short-term visas again, there are still some quarantine measures in place. For instance, Chinese travelers need to submit a negative PCR test and register with Q-code before arrival in South Korea. South Korea has also not been included in the group of 20 countries that China has resumed group tours for. The number of flights between the two countries remains low, but diplomats expect the two sides to soon begin discussions on increasing the number to 100 per week. The next step is expected to be the Korean government looking to phase out the current quarantine measures in place for Chinese travelers. Moon Hye-ryeon, Arirang News.